one, Andrew here with Great Expectations Realty. And I know there has been some questions lately about Ocala Preserve. So I wanted to ask some of those, answer some of those frequently asked questions ah, uh, and kind of go into some of the changes that have taken place over there. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you did see uh, a video about Trilogy and then you've seen a video about Ocala Preserve. Those are the exact same community. It's the same thing. Uh, but it has changed hands and some big changes have happened within the last couple of years. So I want to address that so that there's no confusion. Uh, so basically, why is it called Ocala Preserve and it's not called Trilogy anymore? Well, it was sold. Um, the Trilogy community, including all the buildings, the vacant land, the clubhouses, the golf course, everything was sold to a company called Four Star. And that happened at the end of November in 2020. So the community is no longer called Trilogy. All of the branding and everything was removed for the most part. Once in a while, you'll see it like a little butterfly on a trail or something like that. But for the most part, it's all been removed. Um, so it now belongs to Shea Homes. Um, or actually the Trilogy branding belongs to Shea Homes. And because it was sold, it no longer has that branding or whatever. Now, Shea Homes is still in there they're considered a guest builder. Okay, so if you go in there and you're like, I don't understand, that's probably a lot of why the confusion was there because Shea Homes owns the Trilogy branding, but Shea Homes doesn't own the community anymore as they sold it. So, but they're still in there as a guest builder. Okay, <laughs> confused yet? Yeah, so are a lot of people. Um, so they have purchased lots, vacant lots, from Four Star to be able to continue to build. Um, so they, they've got about 80 lots that were assigned to Shea Homes as, I don't know if it was part of the sale or a separate transaction. I don't know, I wasn't part of it. Um, but they are taking possession of about 10 at a time. Um, so they go through phases. So DR Horton is the other guest builder and they are constructing their freedom homes in the community. So if you go in there, you'll see Shea Homes and you'll see DR Horton, which is actually kind of nice because it allows an opportunity for you to choose from more than one um, builder or one style of homes, which is kind of nice. So you can actually talk to both of them and go from there. Um, DR Horton has models in there, the same as Shea Homes does and they're kind of all intermingled together. Um, it's like this lot is this, and it just depends on who owns what lot is what's gonna be built over there. Um, so that is all with phase one. Um, phase two, I believe has already started. It was supposed to start the summer of 2022. So I believe phase two is started or it's about to begin. Um, and that is going to uh, possibly be an all ages portion. So it's not necessarily going to remain strictly 55 and over. So I'm not sure entirely how they're going to do that. I'm not sure if they even know how they're going to do that. Um, but it is possible in the future that you will be um, an all ages community. Um, I don't know if they're going to have their separate amenities. I've asked these questions and um, nobody really seemed to have an answer on that one. But at some point, there is going to be an all ages section. And then of course the 55 plus uh, section as well. And it should, you know, kind of mingle. So we'll see how that works out. I don't know, but yeah, that's what's going on with that. And that's kind of why it's kind of, you know, been up in the air. So in phase two, that construction that's supposed to be already started, um, that should be for all ages. So we'll, we'll keep up with that. Um, the other thing that a lot of people are questioning is the HOA fees. Um, they have some interesting HOA fees. So Four Star purchased the community in November, 2020, including all the vacant land, the buildings and the golf course and all of that. So it's now Ocala Preserve, right? We got that. Uh, the HOA fee in Ocala Preserve is currently $424.66 per month. It's paid quarterly for homes. Now they are going to start doing villas 
and the villas are actually going to be $463.77. That is subject to change at any point, but that is the community fees at this point. Um, what's included in that is the gate, the guard, the clubhouse, all the main uh, lawn maintenance, the high speed internet, um, the resort style outdoor heated pool, the common area maintenance, access to the restaurant. Um, it's basically a resort style community. So there's a lot of fees that can go on to that because it's a lot to maintain. Um, and then let's see the water and sewer, uh, the water for outside irrigation is included in that fee as well. Um, but inside water and sewer you pay for separately. So that's kind of a little bit of confusion too. So it's like, well, is water included? Sort of. <laughs> the irrigation is on a separate thing. Um, it's not potable water. So um, that is actually included, but the water that you have in your house and the sewer that you pay separately. Okay, so are trash and recycling included in the HOA fee for Ocala Preserve? No, that is also not included. Um, the current cost of trash and recycling is $17.50 per month, and it's a twice a week trash pickup and once a week recycling. So just to let you know on that, there are not um, options for other companies or anything like that. It's just, it is what it is. Um, the Ocala Preserve right now is a 55 plus community, um, but they are going to do, like I said, that separate section. Now, when you first purchase in Ocala Preserve, there is also a fairly steep fee um, that if you end up selling in there, then you actually get a portion of it back. Um, but when you first purchase in there, I believe it's 6,000. Um, you'll need to check with the builder um, or with you know the owner of the property or whatever. Um, everybody that comes in and purchases in Ocala Preserve has to pay that fee. It'll go in as part of your closing costs, but just be aware of it. So if you're you know really tight on the budget on the house that you're getting, be aware that there is several thousand dollars that you're going to need to pay towards the um, upkeep, future upkeep of the buildings and um, amenities that they have in Ocala Preserve. So hopefully that helped answer some of your questions. If you have any additional questions about Ocala Preserve, what it's doing or what, you know, what's going to happen going forward, please let me know. Uh, my email address is ger.expectmore at gmail.com. Uh, or you can go ahead and give us a call at 352-817-9160 and we'll hopefully be able to answer any and all questions for you. I will say it is an absolutely amazing and beautiful place to live, um, but it is, it's, it's pretty expensive and you need to know that um, if you have a fairly tight budget. So um, just check into it, ask the questions, um, make sure that you know exactly how much is expected monthly and what it covers. Uh, this is the information that I have right now, but in the future it could change, um, especially going into phase two and what that's going to look like. So we'll keep you posted. Uh, this is actually our third video about Ocala Preserve slash Trilogy or whatever it's called at this point. And uh, we'll just kind of, you know, keep doing updates as it continues to progress into phase two. And um, maybe once it goes into phase two, maybe those prices may change, hopefully for the better. So we'll talk soon. All right. If you, again, if you have any questions or comments, please let us know. I will do everything I can to help you out. You guys have a great day and thanks for watching. Shake it up, stop when the clock hits 13.